Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Orbis VR. We are going to be streaming live today for uh, quite some time, guys. We have a number of quests to do. A little bit behind the curb on the main storyline quest. Uh, I know view of chat is limited, but what's up, AC? Hey, Ty Sticks. Now I can see your chat just fine, man. I installed a little program. Whenever I put my hand up like this and open it up, I know you guys can't actually see it, but it pops up a little window right here. And I can read exactly what you guys are saying. So, took a little bit of time to get working, but I'm kind of glad that I did it. All right, so <laughs> let me uh, let me catch my breath. I uh, just got home, kind of uh, rushed in the door, and uh, threw the headset on, got everything set up. So yeah, <laughs> a, little, uh, a little winded there, but I was kind of looking forward to playing this one earlier today, but I had to go off and do some stuff. One of the things that I did notice about my recordings. Um, or my stream the other day was that the recording seemed like it was up a little higher. Uh, when you're in the VR, your field of view is, I would say, about three to four times more than you guys get to see on the monitor. You get to see the peripher peripherals a little bit more, or actually a lot more, and uh, you can see up and down a whole lot more as well. So I'm going to be looking down a little bit more so that it seems like uh, you guys can see the, the dirt, you guys can see the text <laughs> one of the images that really was very clear that you guys weren't seeing everything i was was when they did a cutscene, and i was quite literally staring directly at the cutscene, watching it and all you guys could see was like the top half of it or something and the bottom half was cut off and i was like wow so much more inside here than uh than gets portrayed on that monitor i don't know if maybe i have the settings wrong or something but I'm uh, going to tweak them a little bit and see if this works, uh, just kind of looking down a little bit more. Let me know if it seems like, uh, you know, it's still kind of pointed straight up or not. All right, so we left off last time with this dude right here. We didn't uh, didn't get his quest. Uh, we had to end the episode there. So we're going to start off with this guy again. We're going to wave to him. Wow. Praise be to you, Enforcer, and bless the order. I had my doubts about your establishment, but you've proven yourself and your goddess to me here and now. Oh, don't think I'm a foolish pagan. Forgive me. I meant not to cast doubt at the feet of Mott. Please take this token of my gratitude and let us not speak of it again. Ooh, item required King Sweetie. I think that is a piece of fruit. Let me uh, take a look at that. I've actually cleared out my inventory a little bit to... Uh... You guys will also notice they did a, an update um, yesterday and they did another one today. Now when you look at the equipment, you will see there's a little 63 right there or 130 over there. And that is the uh, like mitigation or AC that these items offer. Before that, you had to actually examine like every single item and it would take a long time for this button to pop up too. You had to hold, kind of hold it there perfectly still, which is kind of hard to do in VR. If you don't notice, like the finger just kind of trembles. Even if you're holding the remote perfectly still, the sensors are not like 100% um, sensitive enough to notice that you are not moving your hand at all. But most people's hands tremble a little bit anyway, so maybe that's just kind of being magnified. But now you don't even have to inspect it. But if you do inspect it, it pops up so much more faster. So, you know, a lot of little changes that they're doing to the game to give you kind of the ease of use you need. Uh, very cool. Going to plan to sit on my butt all day. Been a long week. Going to play some uh, World of Tanks while I watch the stream. Much better than catching your stream while at work like usual. Oh, nice, man. You got the day off. That's the way you got to spend your weekends, man. Just kind of hanging out, recharging your batteries after a uh, very, <laughs> I'm sure, long week. All right, so we finished that one. Let's uh, let's take a look at our journal because I'm not really sure what we had left. We haven't already done. I do apologize if that's a little uh, too close in your face. Uh, when it pops up, it pops up like right there. There's not much you can do about that. Uh, we got to collect more catfish. However, I actually have the catfish in, uh, in my room. I took them off in my inventory because they were kind of giving a little bit of weight, which they did fix. Those now only weigh point. 0.01 pounds rather than whatever weird number that it was coming out to be. This right here, this quest, you have to catch the fish. I, I, I kind of hope they change this because it says catch the catfish, right? Not get the catfish. So if somebody gives you 12 of these catfish, 
it immediately finishes the quest for you. You know, I mean, you gotta spend money or have a friend that's gonna give it to you, but I would prefer to have a quest where I actually have to do the work, not uh, one where I could just buy it to finish it. So I hope they fix that at some point uh, down the road. We still have to slay uh, these guys. These guys are pretty tough. They're in uh, different zones. Uh, as you guys can see, I was slaying some of the soldiers, 5 out of 12. So I can do those. The uh, Belusia are healers, and it really requires somebody else there to kill these things because they don't run out of mana like in most video games. They just keep healing again and again and again. They don't do any damage really whatsoever, but they heal themselves, and it just becomes impossible to kill those dudes. Hey, Chupa, how you doing, man? What are you up to this weekend? We're just going to play a little bit of uh, Orbis for a little while. Collect House Deed. I don't really need to do that. Healing Potion, I could do. I don't know where those dragons are, but the fact that I only need four of them kind of scares me. And the Rotospores is a harvesting quest, which we probably could do. Um, High Commander seemed particularly concerned about her not having to see General. What is it about him? The so deliver the crate to General... Clavis' fort to the south of Guild City. Um, so I'm thinking it's that way, alright? So. Uh, hey, Heat. What's you up to, man? There is a loud audio beep when somebody chats. Might be annoying for some, not me, but just making sure you're aware of it. But, uh, yeah, I didn't know that was actually being transferred over through the headset to you guys. But um, I didn't know it was that loud either. Uh, chilling EC is always nice. Anything good for sale, man? There's no EC in this game just yet, but I could definitely see them doing something like that. Now, there are NPCs that uh, apparently you can buy or rent or something along those lines. Let me know if that beeping is way too loud, and I'll see what I can do about it. Um, I think there was an option to turn it down a little bit. I'm going to sell a Wood Elf Druid Cheap. You don't like your Wood Elf Druid? Uh, are you using a mixer? I do have a mixer that it goes into, but uh, my headset's not plugged into it. I have a weird issue when I do that. I think I can get Mavis for like two plat. <laughs> uh, you know, we, we gotta outfit him a little bit better for sure. Great, now it works. So life is good, sir. Ah, okay. Let's see. Let's see if this is the fort. If it's not, I'm going to have to go back, but that's not uncommon in this game. I've traveled a lot. I like that. I hope they fix the uh, the public transportation in this one. You can take the air balloon, but the air balloon is way, way too quick. Uh, I, I'd like to see that slow down. Maybe as like a five or ten minute trip. Uh, maybe not as much as like the boat in EverQuest, but uh, something, you know, in between. Um, That is super loud on my end. Let's make a song. Yeah, but Loud AC might want to bring it down a bit. All right, guys. Well, give me a minute. I'll have to take the headset off and go over there and take a look at the program real quick. So uh, give me a half a second so I can do that. Uh, that's good, yeah. Nice relaxing day. I think we all need it. Again, let me know if you guys are watching if it looks like the camera is uh, pointed up more. I'm going to try to look down because I noticed that in my, my earlier videos that was a thing. So I'm still working out the kinks when recording this, but I've only recorded about five or six hours of this game, so it's still plenty of time to fix any mistakes. Okay, so that's not harvestable. At all, or maybe not yet. Still trying to figure out in this game what is harvestable and what's not. There's so many things to make items out of. I haven't put the recipes in the game yet, but they are there. So let's uh, let's go down here. Although I believe the fort she was talking about is actually back the other way. And luckily, <laughs> you don't hear very much when you're talking. All right, well, that I can do, my friend. That I can do uh, in spades, probably, but. Yeah, you guys know that by now. Dude never shuts up, man. I don't know how he does it. Bunch of, bunch of nothing. <laughs> but this game, man, I tell you, it's um, it's kind of addictive, to be honest. 
I got into it not really expecting a lot. I mean, you know, there, there were some things about it that kind of drew me in, like the spell casting was something that was unique to game or this game that I hadn't seen in any other one. And I, I wanted to try that more than anything, obviously. But once I got into it, <laughs> the the game itself was so enjoyable that it kept me wanting to come back for more. And it reminds me of the early days of EverQuest in the sense that there is no real fast transport systems. There is, but there isn't. Now, if you're a wizard and you know the uh, the spell to teleport and you have a reagent, you know, there's kind of a kicker right there. You need the reagent and they're not easy to come by. The drop off of monsters kind of randomly. So in the entire time I've been playing, I got about 30 of them. And if I was using them to teleport around, they'd go by pretty quickly. So it's going to be something you save, at least for the perceivable future. Uh, for instances where maybe you have a, a group waiting for you or something like that, and you can cast it. But more than that, you actually have to have the code. The uh, It just went around in a circle. Yeah, it sure did. Ain't nothing in here. Oh, no, I didn't. This is yeah, this is the other area. Okay, so I got to go back. He's at the fort. But, yeah, so to travel, you have to have the spell, which uh, is just knowledge. And then you have to have the actual location that you're going to, which is a certain pattern, two symbols. And the two symbols change depending on the town. So that's more knowledge you have to have on your side. And then the reagent. And it will teleport you there instantly. So kind of like a druid port, but a druid port you as the player have to know and not like mem in a spell book it's a little bit more in depth but i think as you play the game you're gonna learn that especially if you're kind of a, a gamer that comes back to it and you get to like level 20 level 30 whatever the max is at the time you know that's gonna be something that's just innate to you the other way of traveling is uh, through airship an airship is almost an instant travel it takes like 10 seconds for the airship to get to the zone line and once it gets to the zone line, it quite literally just spawns you at the next travel station, which I'm not a fan of. Like, I think that should be slowed down a great deal. Um, maybe not like the 30 minutes, like I said, for a boat. I kind of want to take a shortcut through here. But maybe uh, 5 to 10, because if you run it on foot, most of the trips are about 5 to 15 minutes to get from one city to the next, depending on how far they are away from one another. So something in the middle of that, something to make it where... Still faster than running, but you're going to think about it. You're going to be like, well, it's not that much faster. And if I run it, I have a chance to find loot. I have a chance to get harvestables, uh, run into people, find quests that might be there that weren't there before. So there's still going to be the advantage to that. But right now, there's really no advantage to running other than, you know, finding that stuff. It's just going to take you so much longer. But people seem to still do it. Uh, who is that? Are you cheating with people in your calls? Uh, absolutely, uh, guys, I cheat with you guys all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, in this game, when you run by people, or up to people, or next to people, you start to hear what they're saying. So all these people I'm running by can completely and totally hear me talking to you people. And, um, yeah, they think I'm nuts, probably. But uh, it's part of the, the game, that it's part of uh, the enjoyment. And I, I really hope that at some point they add the ability to maybe augment your spells or augment some of your abilities by chanting or using some sort of in-game language that they create because i can imagine dude just think about raids guys right now there's just groups of i think it's five right now if you could have a raid of 20 or 30 people and in the background the wizards are chanting their spells to augment them to make them a little bit stronger and you got the uh, the archers uh, calling out targets and the the tanks, you know, taunting with their horn. Because when they when they they taunt, they actually have a horn that's on their chest. They grab and they pull it up to their mouth, and the horn goes off and it gets the attention of the enemy. So all these like weird sound effects kind of mixing in there would definitely give you the augmented reality that you're kind of looking for to, to suck you into the game and make you feel like, wow, you know, like this is a um, like Lord of the Rings battle with the wizards in the background and well lord of the rings i guess is a bad example there's only ever like one or two wizards in there but 
Uh, you're going to become that guy who looks like he's running through town every day talking to himself a little bit. Uh, or maybe the, the guy that you're thinking of is the one that like mutters to himself as he walks through town. Um, but I want to be the guy running through it and, um, I don't know, doing like my radio DJ thing and just being like, hey, guys, let's talk about let's interview somebody here. Let's just find somebody over there to uh, to see what they're up to. So uh, I don't think I don't think uh, it's that way. I think it's going to be this way. It said the fort and this looks like the fort again. I'm trying not to look up too much. I'm trying to stay down so it looks like it's level. I apologize if my head's turned kind of sideways. Something that uh, this game does very well, or VR itself does very well, is when you go up to a corner, you can quite literally, in VR, peer around it. I mean, you don't have to actually go up to it and, uh, you know, be there waiting to get shot. You can just kind of tilt your head and walk around that thing. Or look around that thing, I should say, without walking around it. Right, my friend, General. She does not like you. Oh, yeah, look at you. You're a big dude. What's with your feet? You're like tiny, itty, itty, bitty little feet. But then you're nice and big. Itty, little feet. What size do you think that is for shoes? Like size two? Size one, maybe? I don't know. Those are like kids' shoes. They, they have a whole different size onto their own. All right, hello, Enforcer. Oh, let's see what you can say. One and a half. Yeah, I agree with you. It's somewhere in there. All right, hello, Enforcer. It's about time one of you morons showed up. Oh, you're all heart, dude. I love you already. You're, you're just a great guy. My men here are starving. You best have brought us food. My men require meat and wine and lots of it. So they're starving, and you want the best, right? You want meat and wine. No cheese and crackers. No bread and water. You, like, you want the good stuff so yeah I mean you're a good officer man do you know who I am I am Xavier wow professor what are you doing in here dude oh and he's the third so trip the highest decorated general in the armies of the great Ottermine Empire it will forever escape my understanding as to why I agreed to be transferred to a uh, pot station such as this I am trying to edit their language a little bit. The game is uh, not so much made for uh, little kids, but there are little kids that play, so this is, you know. Yet here I am, and why am I here? I demand to be treated according to my reputation and status. Hey, Deb, how you doing? Welcome back to the stream, man. Guild City, Bishop Rama, and uh, let's let's talk to him a little bit before we get the quest itself. Guild City is a trash heap. My brother, the High Bishop Archibald, uh, told me Guild City was a marvel of the modern age, a city to end all cities. Well, now he's gone, uh, dethroned. All right. Well, that kind of sucks for your brother, I guess. Replaced by that idiot Roma. Tell us how you really feel. And so I spit on his uh, damnable stories. Guild City pales in comparison to my home of Elephantine. That isn't to say it doesn't have potential, however. Why, if I were in control? Alright, so he got aspirations to become his next brother. If it were me ruling this trash heap instead of that pathetic puppet government dancing for the whims of Roma and his order, well, things would be different. Guild City in my hands would be a sight to see, a light atop a hill to which millions would flock. He sells it pretty well. Yet here I am, and while I'm here, I'll demand it. Yes, you will. He's a frail old man, and frail old man should never hold such high office in the church, nor in any other kind of group or society. I've met the man once or twice. He invited me for dinner, actually. Was it steak and uh, wine? Because I know you're into that. It's probably all vegan, which is why you hate the guy. Tried to make amends. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm actually vegan, so there's no, uh, no insult. Tried to make amends for uprising my brother, or usurping my brother, by serving me up the most disgusting, disgusting rubbery slab of mutton I've ever set my jaws on. Ha! 
he burned that bridge right then and there. You are an easy man to please. I just got to remember the food has got to be good. So, yeah. This dude is all about the cooking. But Chain of Command is Chain of Command, and Archibald wouldn't want me to bloody my hands with that of a holy man. Huh. All right, how about if I can click it? Huh. My brother and I are, we are, of the great Clavicus bloodline, hailing back into the distant smoke of history past, where one of the oldest noble families in all of the Ottomine and here, heirs to the great Elephantine at Princey, Princely Estate. Uh, well, you know, get some, get some money in your family. My father was a general like I am today. My mother, a concubine from the whore pits. Wow, you guys are going for like adult themed, really. I mean, whores and foul language. <laughs> They're not making it for kid friendly. Who rose to uh, wear my father's ring and hold his title. My grandfather was third cousin to the royal vizier family of Real. My brother, as I said before, his unjust dismissal ruled Gould City or Guild City. And it would be cool to have a Gould City. And I well now I'm stuck here in this mud puddle of a country waiting to move on to bigger and better things. All right, well, let's talk to you about the supplies. If I can get a little closer. Tell me, do you look before and see a fool? Am I some kind of dumbstruck idiot to you? No. Then why have you brought hardly any supplies for me? And where and my man? What's wrong with you? Where's the Rose King Stag? Me and my man, we must have Rose King Stag and wine. Yet you've brought me sinewy fox meat and the dregs from the bottom of the barrels at Lakewood Inn, no doubt. Well, I'll tell you what, Enforcer, I'll keep these rations you've delivered, but you'll return to the city and inform that stupid woman fastest that I expect triple this amount next time, and there better be meat. Okay, well... <laughs> he kept the meat, or he kept the food, so... A little, little, uh, little hungry there, I think. Okay, semi-lurking, watching, and listening. I just cannot read chat while I play. All right, well, good times on World of Tanks. I hope you win, dude. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, dude made me wait while he ran to the bank to pour. Oh, that sucks. Wish more of y'all were in the call since I won't be reading chat in about five minutes. <laughs> I mean, we can get him in the call if you want. I just don't know how well they're going to hear me on the HTC Vive uh, microphone. It's built in, and you guys will probably notice the popping noise when I do any peas like that. It doesn't have a pop filter, which annoys me to no end. But I wanted you guys to be able to hear what it's like to talk on this microphone, even if it's not really the best quality. I have another mic. It's not working at the moment, which is why, you know, another reason I'm not using it. Um, the normal mic that I have is a desktop mic. It doesn't really transfer over to VR very well, considering you're moving around a lot in VR. So I need to find the right setup. And I'm looking around at videos and kind of seeing what other people are using, what it sounds like on their end. And there's really, you know, there's a lot of really good ones, but they're expensive. Uh, mainly the same ones that like the newscasters use because they're out there moving around. And I can't believe I left my cell phone on. I can't turn it down here because I can't actually see my cell phone, but. Uh, get you a wireless mic. Uh, the wireless mics don't seem like they're that great in quality of sound, and they cut out a lot. They also interfere with other things. Uh, maybe I'm just looking at the wrong ones. Uh, the ones I was thinking of were about the clip-ons. You know, the ones that go, like, on your shirt that you see at uh, talk shows or interviews or things of that sort. I have one. It was pretty good. It's made by Sony. And it was only, like, 12 or 15 bucks. It's, uh, it's a really good one, except you get a lot of interference when you touch the, the wire. You know? And they make better ones, but they're they're in the range of, like, three dollars $400. So, something I'll have to build up for. 
A lot of loading today. Since they did that last patch, but... Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, thank you for following me. I can't actually see the follows when I'm in this one, so thank you for calling it out, man. Uh, that's not a setup in your mixer, right? Lapel mics. Got to make sure you don't touch the mic element with your clothes, too. Yeah, and, you know, there's some that actually are insulated better than that. But this one, because it's kind of a cheapy one, still has really good ratings and people like it, but because it's the cheapy one, it doesn't work as well. Ha! By the goddess, you're all pale and sickly. He was that bad, was he? I did warn you not to get him going. Well, you managed to escape with most of your sanity intact by the looks of it. So here is your pay. Hopefully that will be the last we see of that guy for a while. Take this dram and get yourself some rest. We must be ready for whatever the bishop asks of us. Ooh, cutscene? Cutscene, I think. No? No cutscene. That was just a loading screen for no reason. All right. Now the quest, baby. You remember that scoundrel you caught trying to cut off the bishop's head back in High Steeps? Oscar. Well, he's about to ready. He's about ready to lose his own. We just got to take care of his final rights first. All right. Quest completed. The Green Mile. Head over to the fort and find out what he wants for his last meal. By law, we have to grant it, no matter what he asks for. If he says he wants flaming apple strudel with a side of live trout, then you best brush up on your fishing and pastry skills. That actually sounds pretty good. I don't know about the live trout. I mean, I'd prefer mine cooked, but... Alright, so we need to go ask him what he wants for his last meal. That's a hard question, because when people ask you that, like, I immediately think of my favorite food. But do I really want that as my last meal? Or do I want something I've never had before? So, what about you guys? What would you have if you could only have one more meal left? What would you pick? And it could be multiple things, too, because I think they get away with that, too. Uh, steak and, and shrimp and ice cream. You know, like, you get you get a lot. Which, you know, I'm all for. You know, if you're gonna if you're gonna go down that route, they might as well get something good to eat. Right. An endless supply of donuts. So yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, sorry man, I am not done with my meal yet. Uh, I, I can't uh I can't go to the hangman today, guys. I got more donuts to eat. What's your favorite kind of donut, man? Are you more into the uh, donut holes? Because I know some people love those things. Or do you go with, like, the eclairs or the cream-filled donuts? Um, I'm not big into donuts, but I'll eat a, an eclair or something once in a while. So cool. These forts are so big, man. I still catch myself looking up a lot more. So, still, still learning, guys. Still learning. You guys never commented on whether it looks like it's going up more than down, or whether you guys can see the, the dirt as much as you probably should be able to. Glaze and filled with pudding. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Uh, a lot of sugar, though. Right, dude. You uh, you look depressed, man. You look depressed. What can I do to cheer you up? They shall murder me soon. Do you realize that, Enforcer? Perhaps you've heard them whispering as to how they're going to do it. I wonder, shall it be hanging? Will they take my head? It sounds like they're going to take your head, too. Put it on like a spike or something and be like, uh, yeah, buddy. Ha, I suppose only time shall tell that story. Request for your final meal. Then it shall happen soon, my death. If I am going, if I am to go, then I would ask for a final meal like the ones I used to share with my family before all of this horror began. Roasted King Stag, accompanied by win or Winderwood whiskey. And I would like to end my time on this dirt with a nice Parthamine cigar, the kind that lovely Marcel Sin produces on his farm. All right, well, let's... Uh, 
a decent grocery list. Let's see, did it update the quest as to, like, I need to do that now, or do I have to go back and talk to somebody? So, yeah, there's still a little bug right there. You guys can see it, pot, or maybe you guys can't. Stag meat, cigar, and whiskey. All right, well, let's go see what we can find. Pretty good choice. I can't believe he didn't ask for um, for a dessert. I mean, I guess, you know, the whiskey and the cigar would be a good way, but... No donuts, man. He's not a big donut fan, I guess. Maybe a little bit of ice cream? Some chocolate? Don't tell me there's no chocolate in this world. I mean, can you imagine living in a world where there's no chocolate? That would just be... <laughs> no, thank you, man. I need I need some sweets. Howdy. What's up, man? Everybody's so nice in this game, dude. Everybody talks to one another. Hey, man. It's a, it's a great community. No chocolate in the world? Nah, dude. That would... Uh-uh. We're, we're creating some chocolate. If there's no chocolate in this world, uh, the wizards of this world need to unite and uh, band together. can help this guy out. Yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes you see a, like a low-level guy running around getting his butt kicked. This class right here is absolutely amazing because if you're playing any of the other ones, a warrior, archer, um, or a wizard, there's not a whole lot you can do to help them out except kill their enemy real quickly. And, you know, I mean, that, that kind of takes a little bit of the experience away from the person. Not a lot. I mean, if the person started the fight and has done a decent amount of uh, damage to it, he's still going to get uh, the majority of the experience, and his his uh, chance of getting loot is there as well. But if you're the healer, all you got to do is heal the guy, and you don't really steal any of the experience at all. And uh, it could be a nice chunk of uh, experience for the guy if he's taking something that is far higher than he should be. So I kind of like leaving it there for him. So, that's why I'm kind of, uh, I play Cleric on most of my, my video games and MMOs, and this, this is like right up the alley, since this is all they have for healers. Mm, I wish you could use a healing potion on others uh, by just running over. Casing, gonna report. Uh, create the job. <laughs> you can't actually kill still in this game. Like I said, it's it's open, and I like that. I like that. It's based off of participation, and I see a lot more video games doing that. Uh, Destiny is one. Anybody can run by and help you out. Anybody can be part of the action. Um, there's a lot more doing it, and I think it's a good system. It stops the GMs from having to babysit and all these play nice policies they would have to otherwise enforce from people trolling one another. Uh, if you pull the mob or get even one shot in there, you have a chance for loot. So there's no like, oh, he took my mob and I, and I couldn't get the the rare item off of it. Well, I mean, you know, not anymore. Anybody can be part of that. So that means raids can be bigger. They don't necessarily have to get the experience from the kill. And I think that opens up a whole world of possibilities with this game. I actually watched a video the other night where they were doing a raid uh, and it had all these different levels in there, you know, level 4s, level 12s, level 20s, and everything in between. And they were all there because it doesn't matter how much you participate, as long as you participate. You're going to get experience, you're going to get loot, based off of what you do. So, even having a low level in there will be perfectly fine, as long as they actually do something. If they're just sitting in the back, they're not going to get anything. They, they need to actually help out in some way. So that was kind of cool. We're looking for a giant stag. Uh, we've seen them many, many times out here. There's several of them ro roaming around. Uh, we'll find one and kill them. I think we should be able to kill them by ourselves. We're, we're level 10 now. There is a limit on weapon damage based on your level. But I do wonder if you can get like a max level weapon on a level 1. Hmm, I don't know. I mean, uh, 
I, you should be able to, right? I mean, I got a weapon that has a hundred damage on it, and there is no level restriction on it. So if I got multiples of these, and I actually have, and I have them in my uh, storage, I could go to somebody who's just joining the game, uh, a friend or somebody completely new, and give them that weapon. And while there is a limit, like you said, on the damage that weapon can do, you would be at the max every single time you fire that weapon for, I would see, like, the perceivable future until you get to a level where you could actually use something better. But somebody was telling me that um, there's better weapons in the game. There's the whole blue, green, uh, purple, gold kind of uh, setup that you see in World of Warcraft or Destiny or um, Borderlands. Like, it's, you know, there's a whole list of games that use that. Uh, it's very standard. People are very, very familiar with that by now. I didn't see the big stag at all. Are weapons tradable items? Yes, they are. Um, every weapon I have seen. Now, if I haven't gotten any of the rares that we're talking about. I mean, you can see over here the weapons that I have. You can see the, the equipment. Uh, nowhere on there does it say that it's uh, no trade. And I've actually traded with people the, the items. Because I was in a dungeon... And, uh, no, 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 I don't want to break that down. Um, <laughs> I was in a dungeon, and somebody in there was complaining about how they hadn't gotten any loot for the last three runs that we had done that day. And I was like, well, you know, I, <laughs> I've actually been in there grinding away experience because I couldn't find any quests to do because I messed up my main storyline quest for a while, and, and now I'm finally trying to finish it. But, um, yeah, I gave him a weapon, I gave him some armor, and, yeah, he was able to trade it just fine, so... Maybe at some point they're add no trade, but that's not that's not a thing right now. There we go. That guy level eleven. Didn't see the stag. What else did we need besides the stag? Uh, we need a, a Parthamine cigar and the Wonderwood whiskey. Well, I believe this is Wonderwood right here. Anybody over here with the quest? It sure is. What you doing, my friend? Lord Rudolph, with your nose so bright. Won't you guide me tonight? Now is a time of action. I trust you are here to fight alongside us when the time comes. Uh, actually, I just need some alcohol, dude. If I can click it. Whiskey has been given a name here among the warg hunters. We call it Chasing the Silver Bullet, as it gives us the nerves we need to face these godforsaken hordes. Help us now, and I will see to it that you receive your fill. Let's make haste. The wargs are attacking from the west. Head outside the walls to repel the assault. Alright. We, uh, we got a warg attack. Let's go out there prepared. Make sure you got your little trap. Um, actually, I'm not playing an archer. It's not a trap. It's an orb of either healing or attacking. There usually are a bunch of wards out here. I don't see any. I guess we'll have to take these on. Our first fight of the day. And my orb changed on me as I threw it up into the air. That has been something that happens quite a bit. I don't know if it happens more because I'm sitting down. Hey, man. What's up? Hey. Nothing much, nothing much. Alright, we need a few more wards, I think, guys. So let's kill all the ones we can get our hands on. Fortunately, these are low level. So we're not going to get much experience on it. But they do spawn, as you guys can see. They spawn more. Other ones. Which is kind of cool. Nice little surprise. I'll get some loot on that one. Are we more combat? Oh, we sure are. Alright, let's... Uh... Holy shit, do they all just spawn? Yeah, when you're fighting the black ones. Once you get them down to about uh, 40%. Uh, where's the quest? Should be right here. 
and not add it. Hmm. I'm not digging the fact that journal doesn't update all the time. Uh, collect ground war. Okay, so we got the ears already. We just need to slay the grud orgs. Wargs. Wargs. Right, yeah. Our weapons train. Okay, same thing. Is it these we need to kill? Yeah, sure is. Alright, they're a little tougher, but not by much. It's the ads that they cause. Yeah, there we go. Kill them before he was able to call any of his friends. Nice. So we may wait for some of our special orbs to pop back up. Now, I have noticed that if you look over above your weapon, you'll see your health, which is the green bar. You'll see your stamina, which is the pink bar, so it's the ability to run. And then you'll see your special bar, which is the yellow one, uh, build up when you get shots with your main weapon. So if you hit them with just the regular bullet, that bar does not go up. But if you hit them with any orbs at all, you'll see the bar does go up. And when it's fully maxed out, you'll be able to use your special ability, which is to hit the trigger button on both weapons, or both, um, both, joy both you know, controllers at the same time. And it puts you into like this uh, massive damage per second for maybe three seconds. I mean, it's really, really short. Come on, die, buddy. He's gonna call. Yeah, he sure is. Let's put a orb in the sky. Let's go ahead and put down some hill and loving. so easy I have a request sir get me a VR headset for my birthday does it also increase your healing for three sex uh, I don't know I think it increases anything you cast so if you're a healer and you're using like the healing orbs then yeah I think it does increase the healing capacity on that unfortunately I have not been able to test that out mainly for the fact that uh, the healing in this game is, uh, you know, a bit OP. It, uh, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If you are using your healing orbs uh, effectively, uh, even not effectively, you are almost impossible to kill. There was one enemy where that's all I was using was my healing orbs uh, to attack it. And when you hit a, a enemy, if you're standing next to it or anybody standing next to it, they get the effect. So I would just shoot it straight at its face, and the fight went on for like, maybe 20 minutes and uh, my life never went down and I just whittled it away bit by bit by bit it was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen but yeah a little, a little OP I think they've changed a little bit of it to make it easier and uh, yeah I don't know as far as getting you a, a VR headset man they are coming out with a newer version for the HTC Vive and I've been thinking about maybe getting it because they've made a lot of improvements to it. Lots of improvements. Um, and I think the price has come down a lot. I think it's around 500 bucks now. Where when I bought this thing, it was $900. So, you know, with a, a wireless headset instead of wired one, that is the biggest change that I just drool and fawn over completely. It is, um, is a wireless headset. So if you guys have not bought one yet, might wait for that model to come out because yeah <laughs> it's better it's better to have uh, unchained let's kill this board. check our quest i forgot how many we need i think we only needed like five but eh, not that one where is that I mean, I gotta go all the way back to the beginning. Alright, so you just wanna... just wanna mess up on me. Uh, seven out of ten. Alright, so we still need three more. Mm, you know they make an adapter for the Vive to become a wireless. We're waiting because they have to wait until Valve has done some more testing on the Knuckles and the base stations. Yeah, I, I do know that they made the attachment, and I was thinking about getting that one. And they also made a new, uh, a new headset that snaps on rather than straps on. Uh, I know that sounds, you know, 
<laughs> I know the way that sounds, but um, the Snap-on one is the one that um, Oculus actually came up with first. Um, everybody liked it a really, uh, really great deal. So <laughs> I think HTC saw the way that one was going, and they're just like, we need to come up with our own version, and they did. Um, so if you buy that, and then you buy the wireless adapter, and then buy a third base station, and, you know, again and again and again, you know, it's going to cost you a fair bit of money, and so I kind of figured out what the, uh, the difference was, and with the newer version, it's going to be, you know, like $100 more just to get another headset, which it's nice to have a backup if you need it, but, you know, something like that, uh, definitely makes it worthwhile when they make that many improvements. Uh, so it's going to be a HMD update for users now. It's like 300 bucks though. I hate the tech trap because six months after they... More improvements for six months later, rise, rinse and repeat. Or uh, boarding AC. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, uh, it is. It's, it's a new system. Um, it's new... It's not just a new system, though. It's not like, oh, we got a new Xbox, we got a new PlayStation. It's a new way of gaming in in a way that you've never played or seen before. Uh, it really is just its own thing. And I think um, the fact that they're updating the the hardware is a good thing. I mean, yeah, it sucks. It's, it's expensive for anybody who's getting into it. But the people who are actually playing the VR... They kind of knew that going into it, or at least I did. I mean, I knew it was going to be a costly thing, and it may not even work out. And I was like, I was just, I was so ready for it. I was like, I don't care. I'm getting this one. We're going to try it. And if it sucks, it sucks. It was worth it. I think it was more than worth it. I've had so much fun playing VR. Um, and the fact that they're making improvements, I think, is a good thing. It means those who haven't gotten into it yet will get a better system. Um, it gives hope to those who have already gotten into it because they are producing something and they're making it better, which is better than them coming out with something that has problems and then like four years down the road, they still haven't done anything else to fix it. I might not survive this one. Come on, come on, fire. Oh, he killed me. I should have jumped out of the way and I would have survived that. You suck, wad. Um, <laughs> sorry, guys. I had to go to Yale City. All right, let's see if we can kill that stag. Let's check our messages first. What other VR games have you played? Ultimate. Um, yeah, I've played uh, pretty much every VR game that has come out so far. I've, uh, you know, I've been kind of uh, voracious when uh, finding games that uh, are made for the VR. I send the, the message to the developers and ask them for permission to review it and see if they got a key. And I've been very lucky in that respect. Uh, there is one, though, that I just hands down before this game came out i thought was the best vr game ever and it was cloudlands mini golf i know it sounds weird mini golf like really like that's going to be the best vr game ever but it was so enjoyable because it's anybody who played putt putt golf or mini golf as a kid knows that the the places you go the the, the actual courses were so different depending on what what place you want to go play mini golf and this one is in a vr world so they could make them out as outrageous as they wanted to and they did and it was just uh, cool to play these unbelievable courses in the sky out on a beach in the water like anywhere you wanted to some of these islands are just floating <laughs> in the sky like they made no sense but so cool to see Cloudland gave me back pain because <laughs> you were playing it for like eight hours straight and I know because I did the exact same thing but it was so cool like I think it was I think it was definitely worth it okay so we got healing up that's what we need let's go ahead uh, the cast yeah it went down but we'll go ahead and use that now we just got to remember to to duck and dodge dip duck dodge and and dive right that's the way it goes All right, so uh, we're gonna remember to jump out of the way as soon as that guy does his thing. Yeah, baby, how do you like them apples, huh? Oh, crap. Woo, that is a big hit. I like it. Oh, another one? 
just just can't seem to get a hold of me, huh? But you're trying. You can credit for that. Oh, you're down. Give me my meat. Did I not get any meat off of that? No, don't tell me I didn't get any meat off of that. It doesn't drop every time, huh? Let's see. Uh, collect stag meat. He won it. Oh, I gotta talk to the chef. Chef Lethro of high stats for the stag meat. And then he'll ask me to come out here and kill. Of course he will. All right, well, then let's uh, let's turn in. We uh, we got, you know, a little bit of practice killing that guy. It's definitely doable. And if I switch to my all healing, then I could just stand there and, you know, tank that guy all day. Let's at least come back over here and turn this one in. Uh, King Stagmeat, isn't that in High Steeps? Uh, apparently. <laughs> Apparently it is in the uh, high steeps. What's up, Lord? Lord Rudolph. Thank you, Demiro, for a moment there. I thought we wouldn't last. As promised, here's a flask of our finest whiskey. Drink it wisely. Be sure to turn return to me from time to time. I doubt we've seen the last of those uh, those wargs, and I'm sure I'll have to use my services again or your services again. Well, uh, I kind of like your gun. I mean, you know, it's not as fancy as my musket, but kind of digging it a little. That's what you kind of need is with this class, maybe a rifle if you want to go down that route or two pistols, I think would be kind of cool. And the pistols might have maybe one or two orbs each, but it would give you a chance to have like healing on one hand and damage on the other hand and do something with his hand. I mean, yeah, you gotta load it and stuff, but, I mean, most of the time you're just kinda shooting with this one until you need the, the orbs. You gotta save it for the right moment. Especially in groups. Unless you're the DPS, and then you're just going all out. Uh, crossbows confirm there are some lying at the market in the guild. Right back. Are some lying at the market? Uh, you mean they're just like on the floor? Because I saw them in a video that I watched in the beta. People were using the, the double crossbows. Uh, I didn't see a, an advantage to them. They, um, kind of cool. It looked like you can heal, but it seemed like the healing was OP in that video. Even more so than it is right here in this one. And, um, uh, I figured they nerfed it. I figured they got rid of that class and just with the muskets. Uh, because they do already have an archer. But crossbow kind of seems like that crosses over a little bit too much into that field. And they uh, they revamped the, the designs, but I guess maybe they kept them in there. I'm not really sure where that would be. I don't know. I had to try it out. I guess, uh, as far as the classes go, everyone seems to have a very unique ability. You know, you got the rangers who uh, shoot an arrow. They have the traps that they can throw down. Very cool little system. I haven't really actually played them all that much but i've seen them in groups here and there not a lot of people play them because it's kind of a tiring class uh, when you're in a group you're constantly pulling your arrow back you gotta make that motion again and again and again and again and um yeah if you're in a long fight something that lasts more than uh, like two three minutes which in a dungeon is not you know beyond the realm of possibility uh, at the end you can hear them breathing heavily same thing for the warrior <laughs> I have seen warriors that have to take a break after the end of a boss fight uh, and they have to, you know, kind of catch their breath. Kind of unique in that aspect that it's not about, you know, how long you can go without, you know, having to go to the bathroom or something. Like in most MMOs, it's like, oh, I'm just sitting down. It's not exhausting. But in this one, it is. Like you are physically taxed uh, the, fight, the bigger the fight is. So if you're going into a boss fight, maybe some type of epic fight, uh, you may only have two or three tries within you before you you have to take 30 minutes to uh, catch your breath, sit down, rest, uh, rest your arm because it's so sore, uh, whatever the case is. I think your stamina will increase naturally. Your own body uh, will increase naturally the more you play, or at least it should if you play it constantly. That's cool because then you're not just leveling up your character, you're leveling up yourself. And you kind of are already are in this game by learning the abilities. So, 
that's kind of cool that you can do that. Um, looking around for apples because there's supposed to be something you can harvest. Uh, tell me about it. We did the rainforest dungeon yet. Uh, they are where the blacksmith guy is in Guild City on the table, even axes and stuff. Uh... All right, well, I'll have to check out the axes and stuff. It would be kind of cool to, to change those. The, uh, <laughs> the dungeon in the rainforest, I have not tried yet. It's level 12, so I want it to be at least level 11 before I even tried to get into a group over there and felt like I was a noob and, and just come completely got everybody killed um, but I don't know where it is and somebody else was actually asking if we knew where it was because they had a group waiting for him unfortunately the group had already zoned into the dungeon so the compass no longer worked because they were like in an instant of that dungeon which I you know I'm not really a big fan of instances and in video games uh, it I like open world where people have to compete for spawns they have to compete for you know dungeons mobs and everything else but i get that it's still early access and i think they want people to test all this stuff out so those things might change if they decide to go a little bit more hardcore and judging from the language they have used in this game they're definitely not making it for little kids so yeah we'll, we'll see how they go with uh, the difficult rating but <laughs> I would love to see those just being open and the first team that got there got the kill until it respawned and people were just kind of competing over it. Um, it's definitely going to cause problems because, you know, there's people out there that want loot, but you can go in there with a the raid force. There's no rule saying it has to be a group that goes in there. Well, it does now because you can only zone in with your group, but all right, we're looking for the chef. <laughs> Das ist gleich im Gehirn eingespeichert. Ja. How was the uh, Rainforest Dungeon though, man? Did you like it? Because I like the original, the very first dungeon over by uh, Wonderwood. Which I think that's where I'm supposed to be going, right? I mean, is it this chef over here? Yeah, it's the chef over here. Hmm. Alright, I'm going the right way. Soll ich nochmal fragen gehen? <laughs> yeah, I like that dungeon because you got to kill the main bad guy, the one at the very end, by knocking the stalactites down on him, and that's just like that's so cool. It's, uh, this this one map right here, this one chef area, loads in like fourteen times for for some weird reason. I don't know what the the coding is in this place, but yeah, definitely needs a little refinement. Demiro, what brings you back home? I'm in need of King Stag. Hmm, well, I might have some left over from the festival, but my stock of bass is running low. Perhaps we can work out a trade. Sounds fair. Great, give me some, some time to prepare the meat. Meanwhile, you go catch some bass from uh, Kingsport Lake. I prefer fresh, but there may also be some vendors selling them in the marketplace if you're inclined. All right, congrats, man. Level three, dude. Yeah, let's open the door. All right, so we need some bass. We also need to uh, make a quick stop at our house for other fish, which is our catfish. We have a quest for it. I went ahead and uh, did a little bit of fishing the other night, and I got the other, I think it's six that I needed. Uh, I think I have seven on me right now, so. So, let's get in here. If I can. Oh, check. Oh. It's a little hard to open up doors sometimes when you're sitting in a chair. It is VR, it is made to stand up, but, uh, you know, it's tiresome to do it the whole time. Hey guys, and welcome to the disembodied voice of AC Gamer. We are definitely going to be doing a lot more series in the future, but here are a few of them that you guys might find interesting. Of course, you're more than welcome to check them out. I would love to hear your comments. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It's definitely the indicator that I use to uh, tell if you guys want to see more videos like that, of that particular game style, of that uh, you know series, 
in the long run. So when you guys leave comments down, it helps me decide whether we should keep doing it as well as whether you want to see games like that in the future. And here are a few of them right here. I kind of picked out a few of different genres. We will be doing spotlights for other YouTubers in the future. So if you uh, want to get a little shout out, definitely let me know. If you group with me, uh, chances are you will get a shout out in here eventually. But for now, these are just uh, four series that I have that I feel like uh, could use a little bit more attention and that you guys might actually enjoy as well. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will definitely catch you all next time.